So you're wanting to learn how to play Claw, but you're worried about the long-term or side effects down the road. Well, my name is Ben, and I'm going to tell you why that's bull****. For those of you that don't know, I've been console gaming for almost two decades now. I started with uh, GoldenEye 007 and also Super Mario 64. But the main thing that really changed my gameplay and also changed just who I am as a gamer and everything was, of course, Halo. Um, I started playing that on the original Xbox at a very young age, and here I am now. I still love the game, and I've just been progressing in other games as well. Now, starting at such a young age, I was very oblivious to a lot of things, but also my hands were just small and I struggled to hold controllers. Um, so I didn't actually play Claw at the time. It's I think it's way too difficult for a younger child, <laughs> such a small hands and everything, to hold a controller that way. So that's one thing to take, take into consideration if you are choosing to learn how to play Claw is, you know, are you the right size and stuff like that. But that being said, uh, I did play it later. So I've been playing for almost about a decade, almost 10 years now. I started playing right before the Xbox, uh, you know, one came out. Um, I started playing with the 360 controller as Claw and then brought that over to the Xbox One, of course. I don't want to go too much into the reasoning or why or, you know, advantages of Claw. I've got, a, you know, its own separate video for that. I'll have that linked in the top right corner of the screen right over there for you to check out. Now, before I go into the whole side effects that I've been dealing with and all that stuff, I will admit I am not a pro gamer. The reason why I mentioned that I'm not a pro gamer is because that does go into play in how much gameplay I put in. I put in anywhere from 10 to 65 hours a week, and I know that's a super vague and super broad spectrum, but that's because of things like, you know, during the holidays where there's family time or even if I'm working a lot, I have worked a lot of overtime in my life, so I don't game nearly as much. That's why I say anywhere from 10 to 65. If I was gaming my normal schedule and I didn't have anything kind of stopping me, I would be gaming up to 65 hours in a week. Why? Because it's my passion and that's what I really like. Um, so that being said, it does kind of go back and forth. It does range. Um, so that's why I'm giving you guys that kind of statement right now. You've got your pro gamers or pro streamers, however you want to look at them, like XQC, who streams more than any other streamer that you could really think of. Like he's just always streaming. He has normally the most viewers, everything like that. He is a PC gamer, but even PC gaming does affect your you know, hands and stuff like that. But that's just an example. I'm sure there's many console streamers and console gamers that play or stream way more than I do and probably experience different you know, areas of effect than myself. Now, I do know of some pros that do have some issues, such as Snipedown, but Snipedown is an ex-Halo pro, now a Apex Legends pro. If you have not checked him out, please do. He is a very, very good gamer. He's very good at what he does. He plays controller against PC pros, and he's one of the top tier players. He recently did a Q&A with his wife. Um, I'll have that linked down below. Also, I have some pop-ups on the screen. But he recently did a Q&A with his wife, and a lot of people asked him questions um, about some sacrifices that he's had to make while being a full-time streamer. One of the sacrifices he had to make was his health. He wasn't eating very healthy, and that affected a lot of his, you know, just overall health in his body. And that actually impacted more of his gaming than actual just holding a controller uh, for many hours in a day. He also mentioned sitting down for hours and of course that's you know more of your actual posture your you know your legs all that type of stuff opposed to your hands and that's going to be focused today but he did talk about a lot of stuff including his health i'm gonna have the quote up on the screen but what he said was i've had a couple things go wrong i've had pinched nerves in my hand i've had issues with my hands and circulation like I said, I'll have a pop-up right here that shows exactly where he said that. But that is word for word what he said. He was saying that um, mostly, you know, him eating frozen foods and just not eating very healthy, stuff like that was the cause of that. And I'm sure there's some doctor, you know, backup to that, doctor notes and whatnot. Uh, but not so much the actual gaming itself. Now, as I'm talking about this snipe down guy, you're like, okay, so snipe down plays claw and whatever. And so that's maybe why he's having these issues. Actually, he doesn't. He plays his controller completely normal, but he does have some paddles on the back. And so that's just saying... Not even a, you know, playing claw, just a non-com claw player, he is having issues with his hands. Um, so that's just something that's going to happen throughout your life, and that's just the way it is. You'll hear about professionals that type a lot, whether it be because of, you know, military or, or just office work, anything like that, and they get carpal tunnel, arthritis, stuff like that. That is going to happen in your life if you are using your hands a lot for knitting, crocheting, keyboard, typing controllers anything like that it's going to happen and that's just the effect of our hobbies so getting all the pro stuff out of the way going back to myself and why i think that the whole side effects and long-term effects of claw is bullshit is that i've been doing it for almost a decade and i've had zero zero side effects I've had no issues with my hands in general when it comes to the first 10 years of playing normal and the last 10 years of playing claw. So I've had zero real gaming effects, even though, like I said, I've been playing anywhere from 10 to 65 hours in a week. 
across the board, that's a long time if you really think about it. So the main difference in that, the way that uh, I did notice stuff in my hand, and you could consider these side effects, but they're really just some differences, is um, the way I crack my knuckles. I can crack my knuckles side to side now, and that wasn't something that I was really doing before playing Claw. Now, anyone can do this, you just have to do it enough, but I just uh, naturally started doing it because of the uncomfort that comes with a playing Claw. The reason why I say uncomfort is because it isn't a natural way of holding it. Um, now, it will become natural eventually, but within the first couple of weeks, it doesn't feel that natural. And then, like I said, you will get there eventually. So you may think, well, that's gonna cause some long-term effects. I promise it doesn't. The other thing is the way that my hands naturally sit. Now, what I would like you to do as a viewer is just to kind of look down at your hands, relax them, and just see the way that your hands naturally relax. If you're an Xbox gamer, you're going to notice that your left hand, um, the left pointer finger is most likely going to be lifted up away from your, the rest of your uh, main index fingers. Uh, and then your thumb is going to be over to the left a little bit. But as your right hand, your once again, your pointer finger is going to be a little lifted up in comparison to your um, other index fingers, whereas your other thumb is going to be actually lowered down to the left a little bit. And the reason being is because that's the way that your hand naturally sits when you're holding your controller. Your left thumb is going to be on your left thumbstick up to the left, and then your right hand, uh, the thumb is going to be on the the uh, right thumbstick, which is down to the left. And that is something that just most people have. People actually get the same effect whenever it comes to texting with their phone and stuff like that. Their hand naturally rests with their pinky out or anything like that. If you're a PlayStation gamer, it's almost identical other than the fact that your left thumb is going to be lowered a little bit, um, lining up with your left thumbstick. So you may not have noticed, but there's actually even side effects happening to you right now. Um, and if that isn't happening, you maybe you haven't gamed enough or you just have different, you know, you have different hobbies that kind of bring your hands back to a normal position. But for the most part, most people have that kind of natural hand, you know, resting place issue after holding a controller for many hours. Now, the best side effect was my just overall improvement from gaming i've overall just increased my skill over the time now sure that does come with the fact that i've been playing you know for two decades and whatnot so that will directly impact how much how my how skillful i am but i have noticed a noticeable difference from when i started playing or when i wasn't playing claw when i started playing claw so i don't have any footage of that considering that was 10 years ago and i just didn't have the recording equipment but i do have footage of course of me playing it currently and i do hit some pretty good shots i'm overall a pretty good gamer and stuff like that so that being said, I overall stand by Claw to the max. I really do think that it's well worth it and all the extra benefits that you get, such as just the way that, you know, you can jump and aim or just press any buttons you need to at the same time. One way to prevent you having issues with your hand later down the road or overall just aches and pains is, of course, hand exercises or hand stretches, stuff like that. And I personally don't really have, you know, good advice on that. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. So I would not give you guys personal advice, but there are plenty of YouTube videos and I'll have some, you know, flowing right here. But there's plenty of YouTube videos on gaming specific stretches or overall just pros and what they stretch with or overall just hand stretches. So I would recommend you guys looking into that. That's going to help you way down the road with just overall, you know, avoiding those aches and pains and all that types of stuff. And like Snipedown said in his Q&A, there's just overall healthy habits that you need to do. Go outside and exercise, go ahead and you know eat a little bit healthier. Uh, if you're living at home, most people watching this are probably a younger audience and you're living at home, you probably do have a healthier eating habit just with you if your parents are making you food or whatnot. But as you get older, I will tell you, it does get a lot harder when you just get a little bit lazier, you run out of time and all you wanna do is put that hot pockets in the microwave. But like frozen foods are really bad for you. And once again, I'm not the best to kind of recommend or even give you guys advice on that because I do eat pretty horribly but that's besides the point I'm telling you these are recommendations from pro people from other people to just overall eat healthier not only does it help your brain it also just helps your mood it helps the way that you feel everything like that but also it's going to help you in the long run all right just to pull everything together like I said there's no major side effects from law like from playing claw in the long term um I've been doing it for almost a decade and like I said the most you know noticeable difference was cracking my knuckles and the way that my hand rests. There's really not that big of a deal um, in the differences between, you know, just playing video games in general and playing Claw. I do recommend that you switch to it. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, and from there, just eat healthy, have good habits, go outside, get some exercise, stuff like that. All right, you made it to the end of the video. If you did not know, I was using a green screen. Comment down below if you did know I was using a green screen. Anyways, if you would like to see more content, go ahead and check out these videos right over here. I should have the one where it's how to play Claw. I highly do recommend watching that if you are interested. 
From there, I do plan on making plenty of extra claw videos, uh, clawing different controllers, such as GameCube controllers, Wii controllers, that's right, Wii controllers, Xbox, all that fun stuff. So if you are interested, a subscribe would be a huge, um, you know, just a support overall. So um, also leave a like, a comment if you guys did enjoy this video or not. Uh, but yeah, my name is Ben. See you guys next time.